Hello, Nick, Director of Podiatrist here at NK Active. So, dynamometers, handheld dynamometers. These things, what are they? They are a really good tool for assessing someone's strength. And it can be really helpful for a patient is if you're going through a rehabilitation process to get some measures to see where that person's strength is at any given time. And then you can then go through your exercise program and then retest the strength at the end and show the difference. And for us in clinic and from speaking to our patients, it's a really, really valuable tool for patients to help them understanding the progress that they're making and helping us guide that rehabilitation process. And it's something we've been using in clinic all for about seven plus years now. And we have two types of handheld dynamometers in clinic. Handheld, because you can hold them in your hand. You can get what we call isokinetic machines, which is a big stationary thing. It's the gold standard, cost around about 70K plus. So we've got two opposite ends of the spectrum. We've got the Active Force 2 and we've got the Lafayette. So let's have a chat around the Active Force to begin with. So it doesn't have a screen or anything on it. And we have to basically attach it to our iPad or iPhone or other tablet. So here we go, let's turn it on. Searching. There we go, connecting. There you go, so it's found my dynamometer. And with this, you can measure range of motion and you can measure strength. Let's look at strength, for example. Do we want to do left or right first? So let's set the right side first. What we're going to do, let's say do ankle dorsiflexion. And we're going to press start. It has to calibrate between every single test that you do. You are then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you would then save. We always take two measures. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We'll skip the side for the sake of the video. And then after that, it gives you a nice graph to show you, it gives you your peak force. And then it will then, if you do left and right, show the difference between left and right. And then you can then also enter the weight to get the force strength, force to weight ratio. As it were. But in a nutshell, th those, those graphs don't really mean anything to patients. It means something to us, but when we speak to patients, they don't really care about those graphs. So, and the active force will set you back around £410, and that includes access to the software. Next thing we have is our good old trusty Lafayette. So, the things that you'll notice on this, it has an LCD screen now already. And I'm gonna just zero this off. And you're gonna push. And once the series of beats, it tells you how hard you are pushing, and then you just clear, and then you then go again. So you don't need to recalibrate this every single time. You've then got different attachments. If you wanna to do toes, or you can do hallux, for example, then you can put different attachments to the end of this. So if we now speak about the, like, like, are they accurate? Well, all of the research that's been done on them does show that they, 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 they are good enough for clinical use. They are reliable, so you can get the same results with the Lafayette every time you use it in clinic. What we try and do is get the same clinician do the tests and repeat the test. So we're trying to reduce the number of variables that are occurring. Now, the Lafayette does cost, I think it's about 1,700 pounds. So it's about a 1,300 pound difference between the active force and the Lafayette. But for the way we use it in clinic, I would have the Lafayette every day of the week. We've got two Lafayettes, one active force, and we don't actually use the active force that much. The reason being for us, having that LCD screen, it means we can go for a battery of tests 
really quickly and then just write the results down as we go into our clinical note system or Excel sheet. And then this makes it really, really easy and really simple to portray that data to the patient. Because when we go through the rehab process, we'll do the strength testing at the start of the rehab journey, repeat the same test at the end and work out the percentage change. And it's interesting when speaking to our patients, they don't really care about the percentage change. All they care about, has it improved? Yes or no. And then we find if we get that improvement, it really helps them understand, right, I've done this, the pain settled, I've got strong, I'm back doing everything now. This is why I need to maintain doing these exercises going forward. And it's also patients like the aspect of that, okay, we're, we're saying you maybe have a reduction strength to one side compared to the other. Actually, here's, some, here's a number. It's not my perception, here's some data which, which they trust. And we tend to find that when we use the Lafayette for batch testing, it most probably can get through a range of tests about 30 minutes quicker than we do with the active force. So in general is that if you're just doing a one-off test, the active force is fine. You can still do the battery of tests with the active force. It's just going to take you longer. But for us in clinic, because we use it so often, actually spending the extra £1,300 actually saves us money um, in the clinic and is just a lot easier to use. There are some other ones you can look at. The, there's a one called Microfet, which is around £1,300 that does have an LCD screen. And then you've also got one by Vald, um, which is a dynamometer, and they've got their micro dynamometer as well, that you can link to their cloud um, Vald hub system. To my knowledge from my last chat with them, you still can't do the battery of testings yet. And that one is, I think you have to pay a monthly subscription for the valve, which is around 20 to 25 pounds a month. So there we go. A bit of a review about dynamometers, how we can use them in clinic, and just a bit of a comparison about the two that we have available at NK Active. See you later. Bye.